Jeffrey Dahmer, also known as the Milwaukee Cannibal, is one of the most notorious serial killers of all time. The crazy thing is, if you met this guy on the street, you'd never think twice about him. He was a very shy man, and people described him as being pleasant to be around. Jeffrey Dahmer was so unassuming, in fact, that when he was questioned by his neighbors about the horrible smells emanating from his apartment, he said that it was due to a broken freezer and spoiling meat. Crazily enough, they believed him. That is, until the night of July 22, 1991, when the police investigated apartment 213 at the Oxford Apartment Building. Little did they know, the apartment they were about to enter was the same apartment in which 16 men were tortured, murdered, sexually assaulted, torn apart, and eaten. refrigerator. Inside the fridge, you might think that it looks just like the inside of your own. There were condiments, just like most people have in their fridge, but there were also jars, and these jars contained human remains. In the freezer portion, atop the refrigerator, Dahmer had wrapped up and stored a human skull in the upper left area. There was also a hand, which he had stored, and hadn't gotten around to cooking and eating before being arrested. In addition to these two items, there were other miscellaneous human remains stored in the freezer. The bag. Investigators found bags, and inside of these bags were organs, a heart, a human head, and other remains. A 57-gallon blue drum. There was a 57-gallon blue drum that Dahmer had filled with acid in an attempt to dissolve his victims. Inside, along with the acid, were three human torsos. A standalone freezer. The freezer attached to the top of Dahmer's refrigerator simply wasn't big enough for his hobbies. Therefore, he owned a standalone freezer so he could store more human remains. Police discovered an entire human torso, a bag filled with human organs, and there was even human flesh stuck to the ice at the bottom of the freezer. The Filing Cabinet Like most people, Dahmer owned a filing cabinet, but it housed much worse things than your average personal documents. Instead, his filing cabinet contained three painted skulls, bones, a dried scalp, male genitalia, and Polaroid pictures of his victims. Polaroid Pictures Dahmer enjoyed taking pictures of his victims with a Polaroid camera. He said the pictures would allow him to relive his crimes over and over again, which would give him sexual gratification. In total, investigators located 74 Polaroid pictures. Human skulls. While there were four severed heads found in the kitchen alone, Dahmer had a total of seven skulls in his bedroom and closet. The Closet. Speaking of the closet, in addition to the human skulls, there were two hands, male genitalia, and chemicals such as formaldehyde, ether, and chloroform. The Mattress Investigators found an incredibly bloody mattress in the apartment, which was absolutely soaked in blood. Bleach Dahmer would use bleach to clean the skulls and bones of his victims. Tools there were various tools found in the apartment, such as a claw hammer, handsaw, and a drill with various drill bits. Victims' personal identification. Items that could be used to identify victims, such as their driver's licenses, were found in the apartment. 
incense. Like most people, Dahmer would burn incense in his apartment to make it smell better. After all, neighbors would often complain of the horrible smell coming from his apartment, but thought he was a very nice guy, so they didn't suspect anything nor push the issue. Upon investigation, incense sticks were located. Videotapes. While Dahmer may have had his hobbies, he still sought out traditional forms of entertainment and had various videotapes within his apartment, some of which were pornographic. A King James Bible. Speaking of forms of entertainment, Dahmer also had reading material in his apartment. Namely, he had the King James Bible. In total, Jeffrey Dahmer claimed 17 victims and was sentenced to life imprisonment. However, he would later be killed by a fellow inmate during a brutal attack.